So today I decided to paint over an old canvas that I painted um, before and I'm just going to paint um, kind of like a lake landscape and I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do and I'm going to add some people in in this um, landscape. So usually I, I don't normally put paint a lot of people but I just want to see how this goes. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to paint and hopefully um, these people turn out good. So I'm going to show you the photo that I took. Um, I actually took this photo and um, I kind of changed it into use this app called Waterlog which turns the photo into a painting and that kind of helps me out too. Helps me to see um, how I could you know get a little help with painting it. So I'm going to show you the photo and then I'm going to um, start the painting. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and um, take you along on the process. So here is the photo that I took that was right by the lake and I just kind of thought this would be a great painting because these two people, um, the way they were looking and also the colors, so that's what drew me to take this photo. So as you can see, I um, took this photo and transformed it into a watercolor painting. And like I said, I used the app called Waterlog and um, this app allows you to turn your photos into watercolor paintings. The reason I like to look at it as in a watercolor painting is because I can see more of the shapes a little bit better so this app really helps me out when it comes to finding the shapes and the, and the different colors so I really like using this app and it really helps me to paint. This photo was taken at Lakewood Park which is in Cleveland, Ohio and it's a great park. Um, it's also known for the solstice steps. This is a great park to just sit and look at the lake or even um, watch the sunset. So this is a really nice park and um, it's just a really great park to come and just enjoy um, being outside. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch out um, what I'm going to paint. So I'm just going to um, take my iPad and look at um, what I'm going to paint. So before I do a painting, sometimes I will sketch out um, whatever it is that I want to paint. It just makes it easier and it, and it forms a mental picture in my mind um, to make it easier for me to paint. Because sometimes just painting off the top of my head um, may not work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but with this particular painting, I wanted to um, go ahead and sketch out first. I'm just going to use some black acrylic paint and a small brush and I'm going to sketch in 
um, the painting. So I'm going to just remember the sketch that I created and I'm just going to lightly sketch with this um, black acrylic paint and this really skinny um, paintbrush and I'm just going to sketch in first what I am going to paint. Um, so yeah, this really helps me out a lot instead of just painting off hand. I like to sketch everything out first and um, it just makes it a whole lot easier for me. After I'm done with the sketch, I'm going to take some take my paint brushes and here I have my Simply Simmons um, bright bristle brushes which I really like and I have a size 4, a size 6 and I believe it's a size 10 and as you can see the um, bright brushes are kind of um, not completely flat, they're a little bit curved and I just really like these brushes so these are like my favorite brushes to paint with. So I'm just going to look at, um, I'm going to start at with the people and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the color and look at the shape. So you may have heard this plenty of times that um, in order for your painting to look um, kind of similar, you want to aim for painting shapes and not just um, trying to paint people. So I'm looking at the shapes, I'm looking at the colors. So um, I can see that one side of the pants is a darker red and the other side is like an orange. So I'm going to kind of follow along with the color and the shapes that I see. So that makes it a lot easier to paint. It's just kind of look at, look at what you're painting and kind of break things down step by step. So I'm starting with the pants and then I move up to the shirt. And um, yeah, you just kind of break everything down and not try to do it all at once. 
So I'm still looking at the color and the shape. So I'm going to paint in the um, green, the greenery around the lake. So um, I'm using kind of like up and down strokes. That's just the way that I like to paint. So um, I like to use a lot of thick paint. So I'm just layering on the green. So I'm just going to continue to layer on all these greens. And you know, this is just my style of painting. So I like to. Um, use I like to come up with different shapes like most of um, my brush strokes are like square and rectangle shapes so um, so yeah I'm using a lot of thick paint here so I like to go back and forth and paint on top of paint and just give that impressionism um, type of painting so that's just how I paint
So now I'm going to use my size 10 larger um, bright brush and I'm going to paint in the water. So I'm just going to take a little bit of water and just as you can see I'm doing some back and forth um, brush strokes and I'm just going to continue to cover it all up and I'm also varying the different shades of blue that I have. So I have some phthalo blue, some ultramarine blue, and I'm adding some white. So I'm blending it in um, so that the blue is a little bit lighter. So I'm just taking, um, I'm just what you would call painting on the canvas. So I'll just take some white and I'll take the blue, either phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, or cobalt blue, and I'll just paint right on top of the canvas while I'm blending in my color. So I'm just adding those colors to create the, um, the color of the lake. As you can see I've made the lake a little bit darker on the bottom um, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start adding in some of the waves so I'm going to take some um, blue and I'm also going to take some white and I'm going to um, paint in like the small waves so I'm just going to um, paint in some waves and just give the impression of how the lake looks. I'm not going to paint every single little small wave. I'm just going to paint just enough just um, so that you can tell that this is water. So I'm adding, I'm going to be adding just a little bit of wave. So I'm not copying, um, I'm not 
doing a photocopy of the lake. I'm just going to do my impression of the lake. Next, I'm just going to add some more detail to the people. So I'm going to just kind of go over um, the colors of the clothing and things like that. So I started with the people first. So that way, once the paint on the people dries, I can um, go over top of it with some more color just to give it more of a vibrant color. So I'm just going to add just some final touches to the clothing of the people standing there by the lake.
Okay, so I finished the painting and um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And also, um, I tried to make this as simple as possible. I tried not to think too much and think how, um, I tried not to think about how I can do it perfectly. So I just basically looked at the shapes and once again, my style is sort of like a looser, um, looser style. So I don't really focus on a lot of details and precise measurements and things like that. I just go for the shapes and the sizes and just the general um, impression that I feel um, of what I see. So that app called Waterlog is definitely going to help if you wanted to learn how to paint different shapes. So it will take um, your photos and turn them into watercolor paintings. So, um, so yeah, that's the key. That's another little thing that can help you with your painting is by transforming those photos into watercolor paintings and that app is free so um, I'll put the the script the link in the description if you wanted to check that app out so but yeah um, this is my finished painting right here and um, but I'm going to show you a more close-up of that painting But yeah, I just hope you enjoyed um, the process of this painting and then also, um, you know, the brushes that I use. Um, those are those are like my favorite brushes. So um, it like I said, and, and um, it helps when you have something, some of the um, art materials that you tend to like. So if you use some brushes like a, for, for instance, this brush I've had for several years, it's still a good brush. But I can tell the difference when I paint with this brush and then when I paint with the other brush. Something just feels different. The more you paint, you'll start to feel the difference in brushes and the ones that you like and the ones that you don't like. So over time, you'll be able to, um, your instruments and your tools will start to feel like, oh yeah, I like this one. This one works pretty good. This one will work for something else. And um, so yeah, you'll start to be in tune with your tools or your brushes and your supplies so well yeah I just wanted to paint a lake scene because of the warm weather and I just wanted to paint something a little bit different other than flowers and things like that so thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this video and if you have any questions um, about the materials I use and how I paint you can always leave some comments in, and um, I'll be sure to respond so thank you so much for watching Thanks again for watching and subscribe to this channel for more artsy content. And if you like this video, share it with someone who might like it also. And if you'd like to purchase this painting, you can visit artsyvic.com. Also, follow me on Instagram where I show all the art that I'm creating and also my art journey at vlipfordart.